G'day folks. So this is to give you a bit of an intro to using Fusion uh, and to, I guess, thinking about how you design and draw things. Uh, so I've got three examples to start you off with. Uh, and this is the first one. Uh, so you're going to have access to this file. It's sort of a nice, simple one. It's just a block shape. And it's got these two little blocks up on the top. Now, in my opinion, the trick to CAD is thinking about everything in terms of two-dimensional drawings, and then making those into three-dimensional shapes. Um, and so if I look at this shape here, uh, we've got sort of, if I break that up into simpler shapes, it's got sort of this flat rectangular prism on the bottom, and these two little rectangular prisms on the top. So I'm already sort of thinking of it in, in terms of like, you know, maybe three basic two-dimensional shapes. So this little block here, and these little blocks here. So, once you've got Fusion up and running, uh, it's going to look something like this. Now, you're going to have a couple of things that are really important to you. The first is this view cube, right? Now, the view cube lets you drag that around and change your view. And if you ever get super lost, uh, you can click home, and that'll take you back there. And the other thing that you've got here that's really important is you've got this button here called Create Sketch. So almost everything we design starts with a sketch. So I'm going to show you how to model this little guy and to do that we're just going to start a sketch you know, we're going to have three planes that we can stick that sketch on right we can think of these as being like uh sort of x y and z uh, i'm going to choose this bottom plane right and it's going to change my view so that i'm looking right down at that bottom plane the first thing i'm going to do so i've got my sketch menu up here you might notice this has changed we're now in our sketch menu and I'm going to select a rectangle. Now, there's a couple of different rectangles you can use. I'm just going to use the two-point rectangle for the moment. And my rectangle should be 40 mil by 30 mil. So I'm going to click in the center here and drag this up. And I'm going to actually type in my numbers because it's way easier to type in my numbers than to drag this little cursor around until I get it exactly on point. So I can hit 30, then press tab on my keyboard. Once I've put those two shapes in, and I press enter, there's my rectangle. All right, cool. So now that I've got this flat two-dimensional shape, I can turn this into a 3D shape. And the way that I do that is I go over to solid up here. And the solid menu is all about making three-dimensional shapes. Right. So I'm going to go extrude. It's going to flip my view for me, which is pretty handy. If I don't want that, I can just change which way I'm viewing. I can click on this cube, but I'm just going to go to here, home because that's pretty useful. I'll zoom out a little bit. I'm zooming in and out with the scroll wheel on my mouse. And I'm just going to grab this arrow and drag. And I'm going to drag that up 10 mil. Now, again, I can drag or I can just type 10 in there. Right. And hit enter. So there's the first part of my shape. Right. Uh, my next, the next thing I need to do is represent these two little blocks here in a two-dimensional way. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click Create Sketch again. And this time, I'm going to create a sketch just on the top of this block. You can see when I move my mouse there. And I like that. I'm going to click that. And I am going to, probably the easiest way to do it is just to do two more rectangles. So I can put a rectangle here, which is drawing 15 by 10. And I'll draw it here. So 15 by 10. And hit enter. And I'll show you how to use one more tool. So here's my sketch palette. I've got just a line tool up here. And over here, I've got some different options for line types. I'm going to choose construction because construction lines are super handy. Uh, I'm going to move it over because I want to draw it through the middle of my shape. Now that triangle there represents that it's snapped to the midpoint. So I click, drag it down, and click again. And that line's dotted. Um, construction lines are really useful for laying things out. You can't turn them into like three-dimensional shapes, but you can use them to do other things. Right, now that I've got that line down the center, I'm going to use my mirror tool and I'm just going to select these lines. So I've selected these four objects. 
I'm going to click on mirror line, select my center, and click OK. Right, so I've got these two shapes. Now I need to bring them up, make them into little block shapes. So I'm going to go back to solid, extrude, and I can click on this one. And I can also click on the other one. I can extrude multiple things at once. And I'm going to pull those up. That's 10 mil. Right. And you've got a lot of options here, which we'll look at sort of as we go on. Um, this one down here, operation, is kind of important. Right. You can do lots of different things with this operations box. Uh, it automatically defaults to join. So, which you can think of as it makes these connected to or part of this shape. Uh, you can also select them to be new bodies so that they're not connected. And sometimes that's really useful. And you can do a bunch of other funky things with them. So, right now, I'm going to leave it at join. Click OK. Boom. And there is my shape. 